welcome back to Pilates with Brooke. In my previous video, video number 22, I did a teaser series, which incorporated a lot of the front body, so your abdominals, unfortunately a little bit of your hip flexors and your quads. So in this video, I want to kind of counteract the action that we just did by working through the back body. So working through our glutes, hamstrings, our back extensors, and the upper back. So enjoy and um, let's get started. So we're gonna go ahead and just start coming onto our stomachs. Laying in the front position all the way down. Good, starting with the most basic, you're going to bring your hands next to your chest. You're gonna hug the elbows in, lengthen the legs along nice and parallel with the toenails on the floor. I want you to tuck the tailbone so press the pelvis into the mat, squeezing through the glutes ever so slightly. Roll the shoulders down the back, pull the tummy in and up, and then gently press the hands into the floor for a mini cobra. So roll those shoulders down, and then lower yourself back down. Again, finding that proper position of the pelvis, inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. One more time, inhale, lift, and lower yourself back down. Beautiful, let the forehead rest on the mat. Bring the hands by your side and turn the palms up to the sky. Shoulder blades pinch together, pull the tummy in and up, press the pelvis in, inhale, lift the head and chest. And let's pulse those arms up to the sky for 10. Five more. Three. Hold it there, turn the palms in towards each other so the thumbs are down to the ground, fingertips to the sky. Hold the tummy tight, squeeze the bottom, lift the legs. So really actively reach those legs long, pulse the arms up for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it there. Now turn the palms down so the thumbs are pointed out. Pinch the shoulder blades together. Let the legs come back down to rest. Let's still squeeze into the abdominals and into the back body. Pulse the arms up. 10, nine, eight, working into those triceps. Five, three, hold it there. Pull the tummy tight, lift the head and chest just a little higher and lower yourself down. Bring the hands underneath the forehead. Bend the knees and flex the feet. Windshield wiper your legs side to side, letting that lower back release. Beautiful. And now bringing yourself back to the midline, head stays resting on the forehead, or excuse me, on the hands. We're going to lengthen our right leg long, pointing the toes still, lift the right leg up. Good, so squeezing into the glute hamstring, Flex the foot and then point it. Flex it and point it. One more time. Flex and point and lower the leg down. Now reach the left leg long, lift it up. Keep the pelvis grounded, just squeezing into the bottom. Lengthening the leg long, flex and point. Flex and point, one more. Flex and point. Lift the leg a little higher, squeeze into the bottom, and let it come back down. Now, once again, right leg lifts. Flex that foot, keep it flexed, pulse the leg up for 10, nine, eight, squeeze the bottom, seven, six, five, tuck the tailbone, four, three, two, and one. Hold the leg there, bend the knee, bring the heel to the bottom, kick the leg two times, kick, kick, point the leg, reach it long. Flex, kick, kick, point, and lengthen. Flex, kick, kick, point, and reach. One more, flex, kick, kick, point, and reach, lower the leg down, center yourself out. So if you're feeling this a lot in the lumbar spine or the low back, you wanna make certain that you're not letting that tailbone lift to the sky. You really wanna tuck it. So think of the pubic bone coming towards the rib cage. Other leg, pull that tummy in tight, lift that right leg up, or excuse me, left leg. Flex that foot, pushing through that heel, pulse the leg up for 10, squeeze the bottom, nine, eight, 
seven, five, three. Hold that there, kick the heel to the bottom. One, two, point and reach, flex. Kick, kick, point and reach, flex. Kick, kick, point and lengthen, two more, flex. Kick, kick, point and reach it, last one, flex. Kick, kick, point and reach, hold there, lift the leg a little higher, squeeze into the bottom and lengthen it all the way down, beautiful. Forehead stays on the ground. You're going to bring your palms next to your shoulders. Elbows are bent in. We're going to do our single arm breaststroke and then double arm. Head stays down to begin with. You're going to inhale, reach the arm, right arm up by your ear, turn the palm out, and then sweep the arm down to the side of the leg and then bend the hand back to where you started. And now the left, inhale, reach. Exhale, sweep it wide, pull the shoulders down, and bend to where you started. Now, press the pelvis in, lift the head and chest. Right arm reaches, palm turns out. Exhale, sweep, pull the shoulders down, and bend. Left, inhale, reach, palms out. Exhale, sweep it wide, and bend. One more time each side. Inhale, right. Exhale, pull the shoulder down the back, and bend. Left, and bend and lower. Now we're going to incorporate both arms. So arms are up and active and lifted. Belly button is pulled in tight. Inhale, lift the head and chest just slightly off the mat. Exhale to prepare. Inhale, reach both arms overhead. Turn the palms out. Exhale, sweep the arms wide, lifting the head and chest up just a little higher and then lower to bend. Again, inhale, reach, pull the tummy in. Palms open. Exhale, sweep, lift the head and chest higher, press the pelvis in, bend and lower. Two more. Exhale, and lower. Last one. Exhale, and lower. Lower yourself down. Good. We're going to give our back a little bit of a stretch. So we're going to dig our elbows in, or dig our hands in. Elbows hug in, dig the knees and lift the hips up, and push back and slowly come into your child's pose. Letting that spine lengthen long. Good. Then we're gonna come up onto our hands and knees. So finding our tabletop position, hands directly below the shoulders, knees directly below the hips, abdominals engaged, pushing that floor away. Extend your right leg out and lift it up. Flex that foot and bend the knee to 90 degrees. Good. So, a <clears throat> little bit of back movement here, but not a whole lot. I don't want you kicking up so much that your spine is moving, okay? This is all about the glute max here, so the bottom. Ready? Pulse that leg up for 10, 9, keep the abdominals in, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, squeeze it, 2, 1, hold the leg up, lengthen the leg long and point the toe. Keep the pelvis squared off to the ground. Flex the foot, bend the knee, bring the heel to the bottom. Kick, kick, point, and extend, just like we did before. Flex, kick, kick, point, and reach. Three more, flex. Hamstring, hamstring, point, squeeze the bottom. Flex, point, and reach. Let's do one more, flex. Kick, kick, point, and reach. Hold the leg there, pull the tummy in tight. Inhale for me, exhale. Bring the knee to the nose. Push the floor away from you. Stretch into the spine, work into the abdominals, and then reach the leg long. Again, exhale, squeeze. And lengthen it out. Three more. Should feel really good on the back when you tuck it. And then reach it. Last two. Last one and reach it long. Last thing we're going to do here, keep that toe pointed. Walk the left fingertips up. Reach the left arm long by the ear. Pulse the arm and the leg up for 10, 9, 8, 5, 4, squeeze the bottom, 3, pull the shoulder down away from the ear. Hold, inhale, exhale, bring the knee and the elbow together, and then reach it long. And again, and reach it. Three more. 
push that floor away and lengthen the last two. Last one. And we'll reach it long, lower the hand down, lower the leg down, push back into child's pose. Dig the elbows in, circle your wrists out. Good, I'm gonna do the other side. So shifting forward, finding your tabletop again, lengthen your left leg long, then lift, bend the knee, flex the foot. Pull that tummy in tight, keeping that knee at 90 degrees, pulse that leg up for 10, nine, squeeze the bottom, eight, five, four, pull the tummy in, three, two, one, hold it there, point the toe, lengthen the leg long, square your pelvis off to the floor, flex the foot, bend the knee, kick the bottom, point, reach the leg long, again, flex, hamstring, hamstring, point, Squeeze the bottom as you lengthen. Three more. Two more. Last one. Kick, kick, point, extend the leg long. Beautiful. Pull the tummy in tight. Inhale, exhale, bring the knee to the nose. Inhale, reach. And again, knee to the nose. Inhale, lengthen the spine long. Exhale, tuck that chin round the spine up and lengthen the spine long. Last two. One more here. Reach that leg long, hold it long, walk the right fingertips up, extend the right arm, turn the palm into the midline, pull the shoulder down, pulse the arm and the leg up for 10, nine, hug the abdominals in eight, five, four, Three, two, one. Inhale for me. Exhale, tuck the knee and the elbow together. Inhale, reach it long. Again. Inhale, be strong in that left hand on the floor. Exhale, squeeze that belly button in and reach. Two more. Last one. And lower the hand, lower the knee. Push back child's pose. Beautiful, walk those hands up. Lift, circle your wrists. Good, good. So we're gonna flip over onto our back to do a little bridge, which works our back body. And then we'll be done. So coming all the way down to the ground. Love working my bridges. Arms long by your side, shoulder blades pinched together. So if you're all crunched up here, Push your arms into the mat, lift your upper back up, pinch the shoulder blades together, slide it down, and then slide your head away from your shoulders. Feet are hip bone width apart, neutral pelvis, meaning that lower spine is slightly arched up. Inhale, exhale, you're going to rock the pelvis to push the lower back into the mat, push the feet into the floor, squeeze your bum, and peel yourself all the way up to bridge. Good. So, at the top. Just take another inhale, pull the tummy in. Expanding into the rib cage. Exhale, press those hips up. And now slowly roll yourself down, articulating the spine one vertebrae at a time. Stretching into the back till you come back to neutral. Now we're just going to be popping the hips up to work into our glute max and lower back. Inhale to repair. Exhale, pop the hips up and tap down. Good. We're doing 15 of these. Two. The legs parallel. Don't let the knees open wide to the side or hug in too close to the midline. Ten more. Ten. Make sure the chin is reaching to the chest. Nine. Eight. If your back bothers you, you to come up. Think about tucking that tailbone towards the back of the thigh. You have five more here. Or visualize the pubic bone reaching to the rib cage. Last three. Two. Hold it at the top and pulse it. One, two, squeeze and release. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Hold at the top. Walk your right foot closer to your midline. Squeeze the right bottom like crazy. Pull the tummy in tight. 
Bring your left knee into tabletop. Inhale, stretch that leg up. Exhale, bend. Inhale, stretch that left leg up and bend. Two more. Pull the tummy tight and bend. Last one here and bend. Now you're going to extend that leg up. Pull the tummy tight. Inhale, lengthen it so it goes parallel to the other leg. Flex the foot and lift. Point. Inhale, reach. So you can get a little lower without dropping the hip. Flex the foot and lift. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. Last one. That right glute should be squeezed. Hold it here. Pulse the leg up for five, four, three, two, and one. Keep the hips up. Bend that left leg. Lower it down. Center out and round yourself down. Beautiful. Quick figure four for that right hip. And then we'll do the other side. So crossing the right ankle on top of that left thigh. Curl up. Grab onto your left leg. And pull it down. Good. Gently pull that left leg in. Flex both feet. Nice. And then using that right elbow, press that thigh away from you. So you really feel that opening. And then lean just a little bit to your left side. See if you can feel that deeper stretch into that right hip when you do so. Good. And then gently unwind. Bring those feet back down, hip bone width apart. Arms long, shoulder blades pinched together, back of the neck is long. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pop the hips up. Good. So hold in here. Make sure the back of the neck is long. Walk your left foot in just a little bit towards the right. Just a little bit. Squeeze like crazy into that left bottom. Bring your right knee into tabletop. Good. Inhale, stretch the leg up and bend. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend. Two more. Last one. And bend. And now inhale, lengthen it long. Pull the tummy in tight. Reach it long as you inhale. Flex the foot. Exhale, kick it up. Point. Inhale, reach. So you can get a little lower without moving that hip. Flex the foot. Kick it up. Three more. And and lift. Last one. And lift. Hold it there. Pulse the leg up for five. Squeeze it. Four, three, two. Last one. Bend that right knee tabletop. Lower the right foot down. And round yourself down. Beautiful job. Cross that left ankle onto that right thigh. Curl up. Grab onto that right leg. Pull it in. Flex both feet for me. Gently pull that right leg in. Push that left inner thigh away with the elbow. Holding here for a couple breaths. Beautiful. And then gently lean just a little bit to that right hand side. Feel that left hip get a little deeper in that stretch. Good. And now unwind. Hands come behind the thighs. Tuck your chin in. Rock yourself up. We're going to do one more little hip stretch. So I want you to take your left leg out in front of you. Sit as tall as you can and take that right leg across. Hug that knee in so you get a little bit of a hip stretch. And then take those left fingertips behind you. Sit tall, shoulders down, and then gently open towards that right hand side. That left leg is still pointed to the sky, the toes are. And you're reaching that left leg long as you hug that right knee in and add just a little bit of that twist. Nothing super crazy here. Beautiful. And then go ahead and switch. Right leg long, left knee bends, cross that left foot under, hug that knee and really sit tall. Reach back with those left fingertips. Inhale tall, flex that bottom foot, and then exhale, add that little twist. Really hugging that knee into the chest. Nice. Two more breaths here. One more. And then gently unwind yourself. Let's open those knees for a butterfly stretch. Got. Bringing the hands either on the ankles 
or wrapping them around the ball of the feet. Let the knees soften to the ground, sit nice and tall as you inhale. And then exhale, tuck the chin and slowly round yourself forward. So just stretching into that back, also into the inner thighs. Not that we worked them a lot, but it just feels good to open them up. Think of little bean bags on those knees, gently pressing your knees just a little bit closer to the ground. Make sure the shoulders stay away from the ears and just open into that back. One more breath. And round yourself all the way up and we are all done. Very nice work. Hopefully that counterbalanced you from the teaser work. Um, either way, it's gonna be a good workout for the glutes and the spine. So have a wonderful day. Be sure to subscribe if you wanna get notifications for when my next workout comes out. And hopefully I'll be putting one out a little bit later on in the week. So take care, thank you.